Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to customize the look of the audio player on a Squarespace website. Now, I want to mention I'm recording this in my 7.1 site, but the codes from this tutorial work in any version of Squarespace, older sites built on 7, like Brine or Bedford theme sites, or the latest version, 7.1. So no matter what you're using, the codes are gonna be the same. And all the codes I'm using today are listed in the description beneath the video, but I'd love to show you how they work before you try them on your own site so you understand exactly what you're gonna to wanna to change to make it look awesome. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site, and I'd like to show you really quickly here, I'm gonna select edit, we have the two variations of the standard audio player. So if you'd like to add an audio player to your site, you just click that little droplet there, I'll grab audio and show you here, under design, we have the minimal style and you can choose either dark or light, totally up to you. I'll go ahead and delete this because we've got two of them here, the light version and the dark. The codes we're using are gonna change both variations there, okay? So I'll go ahead and select done and we'll navigate over to custom CSS. I'm gonna click design on the left-hand side and then custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we'll be pasting the code. So the first thing I'd like to show you is how to change the background of the audio player itself. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the first code that I have in the description below. This code basically says, take the SQS widget audio player and make the background of it orange. Now you can use a code, a color name, like the word orange, or you can use a hex color code if you'd like to, or RGBA, whatever you're comfortable with. We can also isolate just the back of this very first part where we have our play button right there. We can do that by adding a period and the word action to the very beginning, and now just the background of that first part is going to have that color change. You'll notice the light goes back to its light gray and the dark version goes back to that darker gray color that's on there. Pretty interesting, right? Now let's say you wanna change the color of the actual play button on top of that, we can do that as well. To call out that code, we're gonna say SQS widgets audio player dot action dot play dash button. And the play button is very interesting. This is actually a left border. So what we need to say is border left color, and we can just say red, for example, and I'll add exclamation point important to make sure that code's prioritized over anything else it sees and check it out. The play button is now red. Pretty interesting though, it did not affect the pause button. I'll select play and you'll see that pause button is still a different color, so we need to change that as well. To do that, we're gonna say SQS widgets audio player and then we're gonna say actions, and then we're gonna say pause. This is also a border, but it's a left and a right, one for the left line and one for the right line. So we need to just say border color, red, exclamation point, important. Now check it out, our pause button is also red. So we've got a couple more things here I'd like to show you. We can also change the title specifically by saying, you guessed it, SQS widgets, audio player, and then we're just gonna say title, dot title. And to change the color of the font, let's go color purple, exclamation point important, just to make sure that one's prioritized. Now it's purple. Man, this thing's looking pretty interesting, isn't it? All right, we've got one more thing I wanna change, and that's the author slash artist thing on the bottom there. We're gonna say SQS widgets, audio player, and dot artist, capital N A M E artist name. And here we can say color orange if we want to exclamation point important. Oops. And I spelled player wrong. That's why it's not showing up. So we're just going to change that to a Y. There we go. Player dot artist name. Again, all of these titles are in the description below, but I just wanted to highlight these for you so you understand exactly what we're changing. You can also change the font size or anything interesting about that font in that same line. Like let's say we want the font size to be smaller. I can say 0.5 REM and make it super tiny. Or I can say 3 REM and make it gigantic. Totally up to you. You can make any type of font or character changes inside that line of code just by saying SQS Widgets Audio Player Artist Capital N Name. Now, I also have a few pre-made codes for you in the description beneath the video. I had a lot of fun making these. 
I'm gonna copy the first one. This is a minimal style audio player. You'll notice I actually just made everything about the same color there and got rid of the background and some other details. So everything looks really clean and simple and minimal. I also made a super fun one, a rounded gradient. Check this guy out. We've got a really interesting effect here where I gave it a little box shadow and I have it going from one color fading into another one. That was pretty fun also in the description beneath the video. I put those down there because I wanna encourage you to play around with this code, get creative, make it look unique and like something special on your site that someone's gonna to wanna to click on to listen to. So that's it for this tutorial. Code's below so you can copy and paste and have some fun with those. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe because I post a new one every Tuesday. But most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.